If you'd rather do another day, we Don't could... even think about it. I don't know about you, I think I look quite hot in these overalls. He looks like he's in the village, people. Well, ain't nothing stopping me marrying you today. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token of my love. As a... Oh, well, nearly. <laughs> as a... <laughs> as a token of my love. And as a symbol of our marriage. And there's a symbol of our marriage. Do you have personal vows? Yes. <clears throat> They're in my suit. It, it doesn't matter. It does. It does matter. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> right. You are the best looking man that I know. I know a lot of men. <laughs> <sighs> you know, back when. Back before we first. Um, I said to you that. That you see me. That you get me. You always have. And I know that I get things wrong quite often as well. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, you get things wrong. But when you do, I, I forgive you. Yeah. When I'm with you, I, I am better. I'm whole. <laughs> That's me done. <laughs> <laughs> It ain't just that cheeky smile. <laughs> but the fact that you're proper gobby. Mm. <laughs> and yeah, maybe a bit broken. But you taught me, Ben, that whatever my head is telling me to always follow my heart. And today I can't hear anything else. Not yet. Before you, it's like I was put together all wrong. You pick me up piece by piece and you put me back together just the way I should have been. I promise to speak honestly and to listen. Sometimes. Oh, of course so. <laughs> but most importantly, to remember that I am us. Yeah. Before you, Ben, I was so, so lonely. But I ain't lonely anymore. So, Callum and Ben, yeah. you have made the declarations prescribed by law and made a solemn and binding contract to one another. It is my very great pleasure to declare that you are now lawfully oh. husband and husband. <laughs> <laughs>